I wanted to come on here and talk about we are no longer doing any kind of diet. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me? Why don't you do it right now? You know we met for a reason, but you're trying to deny. To be together, it's heavy weather. We're heading for tonight. You better take what you can, cause the time is right now. We only need the Oh, good morning. I it's bright in here. Why is it so bright in here? Hold on. It's just too bright. I, I can't. Oh now it's too dark. You know what? I'm over it. It's 616 on Friday. February ninth is it the ninth let me look tenth tenth uh-huh tenth yeah whatever so that means yesterday when i was talking with my anxiety um about my new therapist i went to go see her on the eighth not the seventh so let's clear that up right now I am gonna make coffee. Is there water in here? Yes. I'm gonna make some coffee. Well, sir. <sighs> My dad just dropped off some bagels. <laughs> they smell so good. So that'll be a nice little treat. So. We'll probably have one of those for breakfast with some eggs or something. Obviously, we're gonna have it with eggs. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make coffee. Bitch really needs some coffee. And I need to learn how to hold you guys out further because sometimes it's real close and personal. It's just too close. Um, you know, the only shit we love, the Colombian, it's the best, it's the best ever. So let me, I'm gonna try to scoop, scoop this in here without making a freaking mess. I don't know, is it possible? It's possible. I also, I'm gonna feed the dog, I feed the cat. Woo! I'm so sorry for yawning so much, but I'm tired. Hello, we're at the bank and then I have to run into Aldi to pick up a couple of things for tonight's dinner and a couple of snacks because Samantha's having a little sleepover tomorrow with her two friends. So, I'm gonna do that. Or we'll stay in the car. Unless she wants to come in, which I don't think she does. Right? What? You wanna come in or no? No. She don't wanna come in, so I'll go in and get what I gotta get. And then I'll show you when I get home what I got. I'm making curry. Did I say that already? I don't know. I'm making curry chicken tonight, so. I'm gonna see if I can get some naan bread, because I know they have it here, because um, it kind of goes with it. Mm, chef's kiss, so. And then I'll probably show you the process of how I make it, if you're interested. All right, we're back at home, and we went to Aldi's. Let me show you what we got. So, we got these confetti brownies, two boxes of honey buns. Like I said, I'm making um, curry. I'm making this curry tonight. So I bought some naan. So we got naan, red potatoes, that'll go in the curry, some cilantro also in the curry, um, some cream cheese, whipped cream cheese, butter, some plantains, uh, canned pumpkin, that's pretty much for the dog, uh, green peppers, I was like red peppers, do they look red? No, green peppers, carrots, Cucumbers, two bags of cucumbers, a bag of quinoa, honey wheat pretzels. Those are for myself and Arlo. I got two things of strawberries, some, what is this? Ground beef, these honey battered breast tenders. This is for their curry, some coconut milk, sour cream, two boxes of this cavatappi. And then a box of spaghetti. This is, I think, a two-pound box. Yes, two-pound. 
um, some traditional just jarred sauce for the kids, cream of mushroom for a recipe, some coleslaw mix, more bananas, and then some leg quarters. That That's pretty much for Arlo. I, I'm having chicken breast with my chicken curry because I'm going to cook it all together, but she likes to you know, the bone-in shit. I'm good. I don't want that. So, that's it. Okay, here's breakfast. Brunch. I don't know. What time is it? Oh, no. It's breakfast. Um, but more brunchy. Uh, leftover little potatoes that we had the other day. I just made them into like a breakfasty potato-y thing. Two eggs, two pieces of Spam, and a bagel with butter and a Celsius drink. All right. So, I made the curry. I haven't added the potatoes yet because... They tend to disappear if you add them too early. So this is going to cook for about an hour on the lowest setting here. But that's what it looks like. This is a huge pot, by the way. Everybody's eating this tonight. We've got the chicken breast in there. And then there are chicken legs and chicken thighs. Those will be for Arlo. Everyone else is eating the breast. And then I will make some basmati rice later. I'm going to make some of these plantains later. I will add some of this. And probably when I eat it, because not everybody likes cilantro. So, yeah, that's, that's the, what's up? Why are you staring at me, woman? Woman, I know what you want. Look at your eyes. You're hungry, aren't you? Are you hungry for something? What are you hungry for? You want your food? You want mommy to give you some pumpkin with your food? You love it, don't you? Chloe? You want pumpkin with your food? Ooh, baby. We'll get you some right now. Alright, so I'm warming this back up. Here it is right there. Looking good. I made some basmati rice. I made a lot because we're going to be eating this again tomorrow. So I made that. And then I made some tostones. Yeah. So I'm just waiting on this to warm up right now. And then um, it's going to take a little bit because this thing is huge. And then that's it. I'm watching It's Judy's Life and I have to give the piggies some hay. So I'm going to do that. And then these... Tell me why. Who else has a dog that goes outside, is so excited to actually go out there, and then literally five seconds later, she's at the door waiting to come in. Bitch, go run around. You're a dog. Run. Enjoy being out there. The other one's the same way. Nobody wants to be outside. What the fuck? All right, so it's Friday. The 10th, right? Today's the 10th? Yeah, today's mm -hmm. the 10th. And Dana and I are watching the new season of You. We have missed Joe so much. <laughs> <laughs> we really have. And this is the second episode. So good. Are you guys watching it? Have you watched it? Have you not watched the, this season yet? If you have, what do you think? I don't know how many episodes we're going to get to tonight, but... This will be a topic of discussion. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Nope. I didn't think so. Mm -mm. We'll see you later. Toodles. Night. Night. <laughs> She's munching. I'm eating a pretzel. Pretzel. Pretzel.
as you've seen, the dog got me up extremely early this morning to go to the bathroom because that's what she fucking does often. I would like to sleep in, but it never fucking happens. Never. It never happens. So, here we are. It's Saturday, 12.13 p.m. And a bitch needs to make food. So I'm making tuna fish salad for me. Another salad, another day, another salad. I got my good culture cottage cheese, which is bomb. I'm gonna put that in there for some extra protein. I gotta let Sonia out of the top floor because she's a jerk off. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna make food. Okay, put in the comments below, do you guys prefer chunk light or chunk white? Again. I mean, what do you prefer? Light or white? I prefer white. Arlo prefers that nasty light shit, which is in olive oil. I mean, which, which is in vegetable oil. Sometimes it's in water. This one is in nasty ass vegetable oil. She's gonna have a tuna melt on the 647 potato bread, which is somewhere in this fucking fridge. Oh, there it is. Uh, Smith is having a sleepover tonight. Ask me how I feel about it. It's not the fact that she's having the sleepover. It's the fact that it's the entertaining that I don't like. Um, she says I'm not entertaining, but she doesn't understand just anybody in my home. I feel like I have to entertain. Like I have to make my house nice and clean, even though it's clean, but cleaner because somebody's here. I I'm sure you understand what I mean by that. It's just, oh, this is the bread, 647 potato bread. Yeah, so I'm going to make these tuna melts. I'm going to make myself a big ass tuna salad. And then I don't know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Austin will have the rest of the curry. Samantha's door dashing with them. That's it. You know? It's the same shit happening. Just a different fucking day. I am going to have a banana right now because why not? Got my banana. All right, there's lunch. Another day, another salad. Tuna fish, a little bit of good culture. Cottage cheese, homemade croutons from sourdough bread. Just a slice. And uh, salsa water. Yep. Sunday. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. I'm not a real big football fan, but I mean, I'll watch for like the commercials or even just the halftime show because Rihanna is performing, which I'm kind of excited about. But I wanted to come on here and talk about 
Um, I don't know if you guys are like wondering because we haven't really spoke about it, but we are no longer doing any kind of diet. Um, we are just eating whatever we want in moderation with balance. Um, me especially, but I think Arlo feels the same way, but she just doesn't like speak about it like I do on here or on Instagram or wherever. I just feel, if I'm greasy, I just greased up my face after my shower. Um, I feel like when I did the keto diet, it was all great and all, and I lost a lot of weight. And I still have weight off of me, so I lost 70 pounds. I was 245, right? And now I'm... 20 I, I weighed this morning I was 204 okay so we still have weight that is off and it's been off for years now um, I'm not 170 you know nine or 78 pounds that I really was like chilling at while we were doing keto but I was stuck in a stall for like a year and a half maybe even two years because my body was like, no, we're not, we're not doing this anymore. We're done. And then I wound up doing like a lot less uh, calories and I got down to 172, which in my opinion, because I went down so low in my calories, like that's not healthy. Did I know it wasn't healthy? No, because I wanted to see the scale move and I was desperate for it. Um, and then I realized, you know what, it's just not fucking worth it. It's not worth starving. It's not worth seeing a lower number on the scale for who, who is it worth it for? I wasn't happy. Arlo can care less about what I look like. She loves me for who I am. She doesn't love my weight. She doesn't care if I'm skinny. She doesn't care if I'm fat. She doesn't care. She loves me. She loves me for who the fuck I am. So... For the last couple of years, I've been coming to terms with just, unfortunately, that restrictive way of eating when I did keto kind of fucked me up a lot. It didn't do a lot of good for me. Um, it's hard coming back from that and trying to figure out life because, in my opinion, it's not something I ever wanted to do long term. I may have said I did because I didn't know any better, but I don't. I want to be able to go out to a restaurant and eat what I want and not sit there and restrict myself because I'm not allowed to have something. Um, it was just hard. It's hard. And it's still hard trying to figure out that balance and not be obsessive when it comes to how many calories are in a product, how many fucking carbs are in something. Just figuring shit out. I've always been a mover and a groover, but that's another thing that I also have to figure out. I love to walk, but I wanna walk for the right reasons. I don't wanna walk because there's a possibility that weight loss will follow. I don't want any of that anymore. Walk because it's a beautiful day. Walk because you want to. Don't walk because you may lose weight. Same thing with strength training. I loved strength training. It made my body feel good because I have a lot of issues when it comes to like my shoulder and my neck and all the things that happen with my surgery in 15. Um, so I did strength training for like a good eight months and it was wonderful. I would love to get back to that, but for the right reasons, not because weight loss equals it. So, yeah, I've just been trying to figure my life out and figure out what works for me. And I'm all stuffy because my allergies are acting a fool. I'm just trying to figure life out. I'm trying to figure out what's good for me, what's good for my body, what makes me happy. Um, keto, unfortunately, as much as I thought it made me happy, it didn't. If anything, it gave me a fucking eating disorder. It gave me a disordered way of eating. Um, 
it made me look at food like good and bad. It's not a way to, it's not a way to live. You can't go through life thinking that this is bad and that's bad and this is good and that's good. Clean eating, not clean eating. Enough is enough. I never looked at food the way I look at it now. And unfortunately, keto did that shit to me. It made me look at things so differently, but not in a good way. And you don't realize that until you no longer do it. So, if you're wondering, yes, I have gained some weight, but there's nothing wrong with that. And I need to believe that because still today, I still look at myself in the mirror and I say to myself, geez, I've gained a lot of weight, but who the fuck cares? I'm now working on my health. I'm finally going to the doctor. I had blood work done a few weeks back. My cholesterol is elevated, not by much, but it is elevated. I have, um, I've been longing my blood pressure uh, because it is slightly high. So the doctor has me longing it until I see him this month, every day. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be healthy from the inside out instead of from the outside in. And I think that that's a mistake that a lot of people make is that they look at themselves and they see that they've lost weight or they're skinnier and they think they're healthy. But unfortunately, what's going on inside your body may be a whole different story. So, you know, my glucose is fine. Like my A1C is fine. All of that is fine. So we're just trying to get healthy here. We're just trying to probably figure my life out and also just move on to the next chapter uh i was telling the people that i speak to on instagram my friends over there it's hard because i've met a lot of people through instagram through weight loss through keto and i don't want to give up those friendships but sometimes it's really hard to see them do what they're doing and focus on whatever they're focusing on and not make me feel a certain kind of way. Like maybe I should do keto again. Maybe I should do low carb. Why am I not exercising enough? Maybe I should do this. It's so hard to get that fucking mindset out of your brain. So I'm just hoping that from this day forward, I learn what's good for me and stop trying to be like fucking everybody else. Because I think that's where I was at one point, but I don't want to do that anymore. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I haven't been on here in forever and well, you know, unless you're on Instagram, you don't really know what's going on with us. So I want to keep you in the loop. All right. Samantha had a sleepover last night. They're knocked the fuck out upstairs. So, you know, teenage girls, they were cute though. They were good last night. They ordered DoorDash. They were listening to music till about midnight. Hmm. And um, just being girls, being, being teenage girls. And I love that for her. Was I stressed out about it? Because I don't like when people are in my house, <laughs> I don't do well with company. I was stressed out, but it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Anywho, it's another gloomy fucking day. So, you know, I will see you guys later. I'll take you through the rest of my day. All right, so we, I am making some pho. We've got a big old beef bone in here that I'm gonna parboil. And then I'm going to clean because when you parboil something, bones have a lot of gunk. So we wanna get that gunk out of there before we make the beef broth. So we're gonna parboil that, rinse it, drain it, and then put it back in here with some water. We're gonna add some onion, big pieces of garlic, um, big pieces of ginger, and a Chinese five spice that I have also a packet that we use for pho. And then we're gonna boil that for a really long time and make some broth. And then, you know, we're gonna add some of this to it, this is just beef sliced beef, some shrimp, and we have the skinny pasta that we like to use. There it is right there. Skinny pasta, we'll use that as the noodle. 
And uh, yeah, this is gonna be like a couple of hour process, but that's okay. No problem, I just feel like having that. And then we will have a side of chicken and pork shumai as a little like appetizer. All right, so I parboiled the bone and got all the gunk out. There's still gonna be a little bit of gunk, you just have to kind of sift it out. Um, and then, so that's gonna boil. I'm gonna toast this. This is a pho, um, like a packet that we get at the Asian food market. You wanna toast it up in a pan. And then I'm gonna cut up some onion, garlic, and ginger. I'm also gonna toast that up in a pan, a separate pan. And then I will add some beef like cubes to it just to, you know, make the, make the broth a little more rich. And then we also have this Chinese five spice. I will add some too of that. So this broth is gonna take a couple of hours to cook. So we're gonna let it do its thing. All right, so I toasted up the spices. I put it in the little bag and then you just drop it in. The broth is already looking de freaking licious As you see the gunk, there's still gunk in there. You just have to take like one of these or a smaller one, which I have somewhere. Oh, it's over there. And you just take out that nasty shit because this broth is supposed to be extremely crystal clear. So no crap in it. All right, so in this pan here, we've got some sliced ginger. This is just fresh ginger. And we're just toasting up the onion and the ginger. And we're just getting a nice little char on it. And then we will just throw it like this in there. Later on, we're going to sift all this shit out and be left with a nice aromatic clear broth. Nothing is supposed to be in it. So I'm also going to add some garlic to this. And um, then we will let this cook for a couple of hours. All right, so this is what's happening. I'm gonna rinse these noodles under some hot water. I will put these in the bottom of our uh, bowls and then one for each of us. If you're curious about anything back there, there it is. So one for each and then the broth is looking absolutely delish. I'm also going to soft boil some eggs. Well, I'm gonna hard boil mine, soft boil hers because I don't really like soft boiled. So we'll put those in there once this has come to a boil. And then over here, we've got some shredded cabbage. These are shishito peppers, just to add to the pho. So, uh, thinly sliced white onion, cilantro, some green onion, a little bit of lime to add. This is a topper if you wanna put it on there. And then I'm actually gonna add some of this in mine for shits and giggles. So that's what's happening. And then of course we have the beef, thinly sliced beef that we will add to it at the table. All right, so this is what it all looks like. Here's the shumai, this is the chicken, there's the pork. I showed you all of that. There's the broth, I strained it. And then we've got all the other stuff. Arlo, I took the big bone out and she deboned everything. And then, you know, there's that little sauce comes with the shumai, so we'll be enjoying this with a zero sugar brisk iced tea. Those are delicious, by the way. Whoa, here I am. I don't know why the game is actually on in the background. Ooh, shit, because I'm not really watching the game. I can care less about football. I'm not a football fan, never have been. Whoa. And I haven't been drinking, I promise. But I'm just tired, really tired. So I need to edit this video because this video has to go up on Tuesday or tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I seen Rihanna's uh, performance and I liked it a lot. So there's that. Because um, we haven't seen her for so long. She hasn't been doing much. Um, and then she had a baby and I think she's pregnant again, which is kind of cool And I think Kansas City is gonna win this game to be honest with you And I'm okay with that because I'm not really a big Philadelphia fan Where I live there are diehard Eagle fans here and I am not If I'm gonna root for a team it'd be the Giants and well, they're not in it so Go Kansas City, I guess Anyway, I think they're going to win it to begin, to be honest with you. Yeah, so I'm going to go. 
and I will see you guys in the morning. I'm friggin' exhausted. Okay, I'm so fucking tired. And I will see you in the morning. Did I say that already? I did. All right, toodles. I'll see you in the morning.